your first alert weather. Yeah, cold and windy out there as we have another system rolling in from the north and the west, and that's going to kick up wind here for tonight. It's also bringing in some spotty snow and rain showers. It's not going to be a crazy storm like we had the other night, but there is some snow in the forecast for the overnight and early morning hours, especially if you're in our local mountains. In the Snake River Plain, we're going to have the hit and miss snow for the uh, mid to upper valley. We're currently at 42 degrees in Idaho Falls, winds into the teens and 20s. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam also into the lower 40s with some gusty winds and overcast skies. We go to First Alert Viper Radar. I want to show you that there is some wet weather circulating through the region. At this point, it's mostly confined to the mountains with just a few flakes and some light raindrops happening here in the upper valley. Most of Idaho Falls, Blackfin, Pocatello is dry for the moment, but we have the ominous clouds and uh, some wet weather, like I mentioned, circulating through the region here later tonight through tomorrow with a, quite a bit of wet weather getting into our local mountains, especially as you go east of the Snake River Plain, closer to the Wyoming state line, also into southeastern Idaho into the mountains. We'll have a good chance of some wet weather tonight. And here's a look at what's happening. Got a cold front that's coming in from the west and the northwest. That's bringing in the wind and cold temperatures for Thursday. Pocket of low pressure, that's going to be with us in eastern Utah and western Colorado tomorrow, and we're going to be in the jet. Uh, we're going to be in the trough of that jet stream, keeping things pretty chilly here for your Thursday. We'll have wind tonight through tomorrow with spotty snow and rain showers. As we get into Friday, high pressure builds in along the west coast. Cool and sunny conditions to close out the work week. Also, as we head into this approaching Saturday, there are some showers to the north, but that high pressure is going to keep us dry at least through the weekend, and the temperatures are going to be below average. Viper tonight. We we have the spotty snow showers wrapping in here overnight into the late night, early morning hours here as we get into early Thursday. However, this stuff clears out pretty quickly and by the late morning tomorrow, that wet weather pretty much almost gone. There'll be a few leftover light hits of snow tomorrow afternoon. And then as we work into Friday, drying conditions with some clearing skies in the forecast and temperatures begin to warm back into the 50s by this Saturday and Sunday. Snowfall amounts not very impressive. Again, nowhere near the crazy weather we had just the other morning, but we're looking about a half inch to an inch around areas of Blackfoot North into the upper valley and then back through Driggs and Jackson also could see about an inch of some snowfall, maybe even a little bit less. 42 for the high in Preston, 38 in Lava Hot Springs, with a high of 35 in Montpelier tomorrow. Lows back into the 20s. We'll have 38 in Rexburg, 35 in Jackson, the same for Island Park, but Island Park pretty chilly tonight with a low of 19. Same for West Yellowstone, seeing a low of 19. We'll see 45 for Salmon, low 40s in Stanley with the upper 30s in Arco, with highs in the Snake River Plain, topping off into the high 30s and low 40s tomorrow, with numbers tonight back into the 20s. We'll carry the threat for some snow tonight through tomorrow, mixing with a few raindrops. Again, not a major storm, but then the sun comes out for Friday, Saturday, with temperatures starting to warm back up, and we'll be heading into the mid 50s on Saturday, 60 degrees by Sunday. A little bump in the road gets back in here for Monday with a slight chance of some snow and some wind in there for the start of the work week. Rexburg, a high of 52 by this Saturday with some plenty of sunshine with plenty of sunshine for parts of the weekend. Overnight lows into the 20s. We'll head over to Salmon with numbers into the mid 40s for Thursday, mid 50s on Friday and a high of 60 degrees on Saturday with mostly sunny conditions. A few clouds on Sunday. Jackson, we got some snow in the forecast tonight and tomorrow. Highs will only get to the mid 30s tomorrow there for the western Wyoming valleys and the same for areas in eastern Idaho out towards Teton County and even areas near the Wyoming state line will hit highs into the upper 50s, lower 60s by Sunday. Pocatello, your eight day forecast 51 for the high Friday, 57 on Saturday with highs in the lower 60s on Sunday. Temperatures will fall slightly for the start of the work week with that weak system on Monday. Idaho Falls, a high of 39 for Thursday, 46 as we get into Friday, mid to lower 50s for Saturday, the upper 50s on Sunday. Not bad for this approaching weekend. Our John Adams GMC Spirit of Idaho coming to us from Caitlin and Rigby. And it's uh, the most wonderful time of the year, right? Oh, no, yeah, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but this was a shot from the snowy weather that came in just the other day. Uh, I think the pooch might like it. And like my dog, he really loves to roll around in that snow. We like to see your photos, especially if you got some good snow ones. Go to news3now.com. You go to the website under the weather section. Look for Spirit of Idaho. We're going to take a break.